Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're going to talk about pure Darwin. We have already discussed what is a Darwin, which is like the core of macOS those days, and we discussed how to boot open Darwin and like how to be able to use it, just the console version of it. But today we're going to continue talking about something a bit different. We're going to talk about the pure Darwin. Pure Darwin is basically like a continuation of open Darwin. It's like the community version of Darwin. So you, you are able to boot on your system or your virtual machine like anywhere it's also abandoned but still it's like a more recent version and it's actually having a graphical interface there which is like very interesting but the huge problem that i found is that this operating system is very unstable by the way this version of pure darwin the link to it was provided by one of my viewers and i basically grabbed this vmdk file which is basically a virtual machine file and i'm gonna boot it on my virtual box instance if we take a look at the settings of this virtual machine we're gonna find out that basically you need to configure it specifically first of all yeah I specified it's open BSD 32-bit version in system I've changed this I enabled the IO a epic I set the chipset to the ICH 9 because it doesn't work with the other version of chipset I disabled all other devices yeah enable PAE and X for sure then talking about the display I just uh, didn't enable the acceleration but I think it's gonna work if you enable it but disable as much as possible just leave only what's necessary and the controller of course needs to be IDE not SATA this is like a limitation of old versions of operating systems because we need to configure it specifically to work on our modern hardware even like on a modern virtual machine right we need to specify this kind of settings let's actually go ahead and boot it by the way it's so, so unstable that I basically created a snapshot so here's a snapshot I created like initial snapshot of the system because it only works once <laughs> and after I boot it it doesn't really work I need to reset it back to initial state afterwards so let's go ahead and boot it all right so here we go and here's a chameleon bootloader right here it says 2 gb of memory press enter so it's a xmas edition christmas edition basically this version has actually a graphical interface but it's not like you got used to it like gnome or kde basically this one is just using based on the new step and it's not exactly what you got used to it not like GNOME and not, not like KDE so it's also like uh, taking its roots from the Apple implementation of the next step open source version of this uh, implementation and it's still available you can still use it but this like probably like very very old version of, of this uh, environment what we can do here basically we can open the terminal and the first thing we're gonna check of course the version right we're gonna check your name RA and we're gonna find out this basically a Darwin version 9.5.0 compiled in 2008 quite quite old version of it but if we take a look at the um, file structure if just need to press ls la and we're just gonna see the files available here as you can see it's very similar to what we have in the Mac OS 10 right it's basically the similar structure and for example we have applications here so we can go CD applications and what's there there's a Mac ports folder and Mac ports is basically you know it's a package management system available for Mac so if you go to see in Mac ports what's here and so the only thing available here is just the X Darwin app which is basically nothing interesting for us here so let's go back to the root and what else can we see here well we can see the library folder right we can just go to library and again it's very very similar to what we can see in Mac for example there is a preferences folder right here there's also a bunch of other stuff for example the application support caches documentations and stuff like that there's even Python installed here probably which version of Python 2.3 the version of Python installed here which is okay nice so we go back to the root directory and again what else the kernel available here i miss mac kernel boot bean and stuff like that what else can we explore we can go back to the library even can go to the startup items and what's there and uh, nothing there i'm wondering what's in the application support in the application support we only have the bonjour which is like a protocol for exchanging files and uh, i think also you can share printers using this protocol so not much interesting here so let's actually explore what else uh, it has to provide so if you press right click again what we can do we can try to launch firefox hmm it doesn't work all right for some reason and let's go and open something else for example gimp doesn't work so well does anything work here no turns out nothing is working here all right so what about something different what about utilities calculator is working here which is quite nice very useful application but again <laughs> what else uh, window properties okay so we can get the window properties sounds good uh, what else kill x application 
All right, so we can kill some application like that. It's nice. What else? Appearances, themes. Yeah, let's open theme. Uh, no, no. Hey, come on, what's what's working there? How to close this damn thing? To close it, I need to launch something here. Okay, calculator. Whew, all right. So, window preferences, and we can just customize windows the way it was done in the next step. I like the customizations, but the UI is so, so outdated, just like they should have shipped like GNOME or KDE with this thing, because otherwise it's just like, what's the point? Oh yeah, we can just customize the menu, we can add new items, not much to be honest, that's basically it. And if you try to launch some additional session, for example, the black box, well, I don't see what's happening, like nothing is happening. And then ICVM, nothing is happening. What else we have? So applications are not launching, nothing works here. What can we do is actually we can just take a look at the info for example we can see the process list it just shows like all the processors running right here we can collapse windows the way it was done in mac os 9 double click here it just collapses like that and we can minimize it like using this button so this button doesn't work when i press on it but those buttons work but they don't do anything i can i think move around those windows like that yeah i can just move it here. come on it was move oh yeah i can move it like that and that's it basically i can quit this this session right here press exit yes exit window manager exit i'm basically browsing the file system and i'm in the bash is a root this is it guys for today i was just trying to find some usage for the pure darwin but i was not able to and i saw the screenshot on the wikipedia which showed the pure darwin running the gnome and all applications of this environment but so far like i'm not able to run anything useful here so it's just like only for the basic stuff for the terminal and stuff like that if you want it you can try it but i don't recommend it it's just like very outdated and you probably have a better luck using the new step instead just like trying out this open source implementation of what ui apple used to have back in the next step days this one is not usable all right guys thank you for watching if you like this video please press the like button subscribe and you can also provide suggestions down below in the comments thank you and bye bye